The annual training exchange program between the Jamaica Defence Force and the British Army is currently underway. The program involves a platoon of British soldiers training in Jamaica with a JDF platoon and a JDF contingent in Britain on a similar exercise. The Jamaican leg is known as Operation Red Stripe and the British portion is dubbed Operation Calypso Hop. Today's training exercise involved a s simulated landing of troops and the capture of an enemy building. CVM's Tony Morrison was there. The historic and idyllic locale of Folly in Port Antonio was the backdrop for the daylight rehearsal of a nighttime military maneuver. What we're going to be able to demonstrate for you today is we're going to do a training exercise running through showing a covert um, beach approach from the sea on the other side of the Folly Peninsula there. Um, from that, they'll then move up through cross-country and then show you Fibua, which is fighting in built-up areas. The 30-strong raiding platoon of British and Jamaican troops landed in three boats and moved into position quickly to secure the beach before moving towards their target. We specifically come to uh, Jamaica to do jungle warfare training, but Fibua fighting in built-up areas is part of that training as well. As you know, there, there are villages in the hills, so you need to take them as well if in order to. Under the cover of gunfire and a few well-placed smoke and explosive grenades, the building was stormed and the enemy was on the run. The ground floor was quickly secured. Then began the more difficult task of occupying the upper floor, where the enemy had staged a defiant standoff. Again under the cover of hand grenades, the upper floor was stormed and eventually secured, all under the watchful eyes of the combat instructor. The objective of a neutralized enemy in the fully secured building was achieved just minutes later. Since it was only a training exercise this time around, the enemy were in fact alive and well afterwards. When questioned as to how this exercise could be applied in Jamaica, both soldiers questioned, without hesitation, came up with the same answer. Like you know, in Western Kingston. Back in, in the Western era of Kingston. The Britons said they liked working with the JDF and enjoyed being in Jamaica even more. Being more accustomed to rain and cold, learning to cope with the heat and humidity of Jamaica was also a valuable experience. This will definitely help us in the future, like if we have to go to another country to peacekeeping force or whatever, this has been a worthwhile experience. Tony Morrison, CVM News.